What's going on, guys? We're back here today. We are at Pelican Pier. We have $5 in our game card, and we're going to see if we can win. All right, so we are going to get Pop Block a try. This is one of our favorite games. What you got to do is you have to press that button uh, when the dial is over the dot, and get all the dots and pop them off. Here, the jackpot is 300, but you get two tickets every time you uh, get a dot. So overall, you get 400 tickets if you get the jackpot. tickets jackpot winner we are going to get a crossroad try so what you have to do is you have to cross the road and here you get one uh, ticket for every hop and the jackpot is 150 and you need to get 157 or more to get the jackpot but one thing that's really cool is that you get uh, the jackpot plus your score so if we get like uh, 157, we will get 157 plus the jackpot of 150 for a grand total of 307. And if you go even higher, you can get even more tickets. So this is a really, really great game to play. Oh, that was really good. Oh, that was, that, was, that was close. That was also kind of close. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, we're good. That's a fast truck. So you do not want to uh, fall into the water, get hit by a truck, or get caught by the eagle. If you uh, wait too long, the eagle will come and catch you. As you can see, the, uh, the, the, the screen is constantly scrolling backwards, so it can be, oh, oh that was close. Yeah, it's, um, there's a lot of ways to lose. There's a lot of things going on at one time. Don't get by a train. Oh yeah, also, you don't want to get uh, washed away in the water. So we have 177, so we have already achieved the jackpot because we passed 157, but we're gonna keep going because we get the jackpot plus our score. So hopefully we can get like, you know, 200, 300, and then we'll get like a good, um, like 400, 500 tickets. One strategy is to let the train go and then go because after the train goes, uh, it becomes safe for a long time. Some places it's permanent. I have seen some places where the train can go on the same track twice, but it depends on the setting. is to like you know, time the logs. Like some of them go fast and then some of them go slow. Well, that was really good. If you've gone too early, you've gone hit by a train, you've gone too late, you've gone hit by a truck. So you want to like you know, calibrate how uh, fast the train goes. Because um, sometimes you have to like get like right next to that uh, the train track before um, you know going. Like it can be kind of tricky at times. And also another little strategy, or trick rather, is to uh, use the, uh, kind of like the fact that like kind of a like half step. Uh, like if there's a, oh that was really close. Oh that was so close. Uh, it's kind of like a half step of sorts. If, uh, if you're like somewhat close to the, uh, like the next step, like a log or whatever, it uh, often gives it to you. But uh, it's not something to uh, necessarily uh, rely on. And also another thing to oh that was very close. Oh that was so close. Um, I think the train lasted like a second or so. Oh 387. That's 387 plus 150. So that gets us uh, 537 tickets. That's really really good. Okay. All right, so we are going to get.
see if Hot Wheels King of the Road is right. And we are going to play on the dinosaur level. And what you have to do is you have to collect the coins and win the race. And if you do so, you get 1,000 tickets. So, really good. Yeah, that's really good. So, um, I'm not really sure how much time you have, but however long the, uh, the track is. So there's uh, the track, and that kind of tells you how long it is. And we are the uh, the blue car, and we currently have uh, 73 points. Incoming! Whoa! Amazing! That's gotta hurt. So the uh, coins that have the, uh, the flame on it are worth, um, but I think they're worth five, right? Yeah. On fire! Did you see that? Alright, 218. Need 2.5. Need 2.5. We're three away. On fire! Alright, we've got 226, and that is enough. To get the uh, jackpot of 1,000 tickets. Great race! And, first and we got 230 points, and that gets us 1,000 tickets. Yeah! And we actually get uh, 20 more, so in total, we got 1,020 tickets. That's really good. Alright, so we are going to give Pop Lock one more try. Again, you need to press that button when the dial is over the dot and if you do it 50 times you get the jackpot and it's a grand total of 400 tickets. One thing I like about this game is that it's skill based and if you're good at it you can get a lot of tickets. However, despite what some people think, the game is not something you can go infinite on. Um, most arcades have it set up so that way you uh, have a hard time as you go on. Alright, so we are going to give Hot Wheels one more game and we are going to see if we get the jackpot again and the score to beat is 230. It's hard to see because of like your pictures on there. So one thing that's really interesting about this game is that they actually have cameras and with those cameras it takes a picture of the player. Um, does having the picture make it harder? I think so. It's kind of funny. It's a nice way to make it uh, more challenging. Yeah. It makes it more challenging but at the same time it makes it more fun to, to a lot of players. So it's like, you get it? Wrong turn. So now are you going to avoid the coins? No, we're just going to avoid the coins. Yeah. Alright, so we just got uh, 240 coins, and that's enough to get a jackpot of 1,000 tickets. But you get the jackpot of 1,000 tickets plus uh, whatever you get for the coins. So 240 got us 24 tickets plus 1,000. So we've got 1,024 tickets. All right, so with our tickets, we were able to get all of these fish plush. There's like 20 of them. That's really cool. It's a really good deal. To everyone watching, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again next time.